What's up, Nino Squad? So today we're basically just doing like um an ancestry DNA test. Just it like I guess shows your background history of like what you could be related to. It shows your ethnicity. Yeah. So like I'm Puerto Rican, Mexican, and Dominican, but with this I'll find out if I'm anything else. No, I'm just Mexican. Yeah. But you never know, maybe your ancestors are from Spain or... True. You don't know, from the freaking 1800s. Okay, so basically what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be... Um, so it comes with... I already showed you guys, but it comes with this little thing and this tube. So what we're going to be basically doing is just... Filling up to this this black line right here of just spit, so we're gonna be spitting in it. Yeah, and we're gonna do that off screen because that's uh obviously no no nasty. And then after we're done with that, we're gonna take this thing off and then put this on there and then mix it mix it together and then for five seconds and then obviously we're just gonna put it in the little bags and then into the box. Okay. But would I have so much saliva just to fill up this thing? Yeah. You can just make it all. Alright, so let's get started. What's the first rule? What's the steps? So the first step, we obviously already did the first step. So the first step was to activate your kit on your phone. What is the second step? Uh, second step. Replace the funnel with the cap. So do that right now. Oh wait, no, we didn't even spit. No, we no. didn't spit in the tube. So the second step is spit in yeah. the tube. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna do that right now, and then when we finish spitting, um, we'll be right back. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we just finished spitting. Uh, that was actually a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, yeah. It took it took a little while to fill it up, but now. We're gonna replace the caps with this. So yes, the third thing was release and shake. So we have to take off this top part. And basically switch it with this part. Mm -hmm. So how do we do that? So you just twist it on like that, but don't twist it too hard before it shoots out. Like. Mm -hmm. And then it says, tighten to release um, stabilizing fluid. You will know it works when the blue solution from the cap in, has emptied into the tube. So I guess you twist it. For what way? It's got to be left. Oh, mine's already coming out. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. She's stronger than me, guys. And my hands are a little sweaty. Did it all go in there? Oh, go. Okay, shake the tube for at least five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. That's what it says, five seconds, right? Mm -hmm. So I shook mine. It looks like this already. Is that empty enough? Yeah, I did it. That's how I did it. Right. So that's the end result right there. Look like this. Um. So now. We have to pack it up, no? Yeah, just put it in the bag or something. Obviously, me being me, I lost one of these things. So now I'm using a Ziploc bag. This don't take that off until you're done. Yeah. Not slow. Sometimes. There you go. Alright, so. Oh, it's already in the bag. That's all we're going to do. Let's put it in. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I just placed it in the collection bag. So, and then they give us this little box. Um, yeah. So we just put it in here. And then you close just it up. to close it up, I have to remove the obviously that it's freaking sticker. And boom. There you go. It's already done and um And they already paid for the little label thing, so all we have to do is put this in the No postage necessary if mailed in the United States. And it's yeah. in the US, isn't it? Yeah. So we just have to uh, put this in the mailbox, and we'll see you guys when we get our results. Uh, they said that they'll email it to us, so we're probably going to do like a screen thing, like the screen mm -hmm. share, where you guys will see like the list of what we are on the side. It usually doesn't say like how, oh wait, yeah, it does right here. Your results will be ready at www.ancestry.com in roughly six to eight weeks from the time we received your sample so we obviously don't know when they're going to receive it but it's going to lie it's going to take at least six to eight weeks to get our results back all right guys so you guys seen us uh setting it up so we'll see you guys when we get the uh, results it might take a while to post this video but um like i said we'll just see you guys when we get the results also, we're only doing this video because I've, I'm very curious to figure out what I am. I'm already a mutt as is, but if I'm more than what I am, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, guys, so see you in six to eight weeks. Okay, guys, so it's been like a while. A Almost a month, basically. I think more than a month. Yeah. It says six to eight weeks. It's been like two and a half months. Uh. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, um, it's been like two and a half months, and we finally got the results from our spit. <sighs> so much yeah. waiting. So we're back. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna put a screen recording. I'm not sure how we're gonna do it, but um, your phone can screen record. Yeah, let me just start right here. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're currently screen recording. These are yeah. my results? Yeah, these are, it says Ancestry Story for Edward. Okay, so here's what I'm looking at. You guys are probably going to be able to see the same thing. There you go. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> wow. Spain. I don't know anyone in my family from Spain, but uh, okay. Don't know anyone from Portugal. If they get Durango right, got Puerto Rico right, <laughs> Senegal, uh, I, I, Irish, Irish and Scottish. <laughs> That's so weird. <clears throat> hmm. I'm African. Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples. French. Oui, oui, Zachary Blue. <laughs> Indigenous, Haiti, and Dominican. Yes, I am Dominican. European Jewish. Have you guys checked out my Holocaust Museum video? Because now uh, it kind of explains why I said that I would feel sad over there. Maybe I was linked to them. Hmm. Indigenous America Central, so from Central America. Okay, all right. I see a lot of uh, Latin, even though I already knew that, but I didn't know it was a bunch of different places. And, of course, my favorite, Nigeria. Ah, if you guys know me, you guys know that I love Nigeria. Nigeria is one of my favorite countries. <laughs> and it says extra Puerto Rican. So, that's mine. 
though? What do you think of it? Like, I was not expecting to see 35% Spain and 17% Portugal. I also was not expecting to see any European places like Ireland or Scotland or France. And I didn't know that I was European Jewish. European Jewish? I mean, I, I already knew the African part, like Puerto Rican and Dominican. Literally, you know, family basically came from Africa. And the Mexican part, I already knew. My grandpa's from Durango, and it says my family's from Durango, so got that part right. Wow. Oh. So. What if I try this with Jet? Will it work? Will it work for dogs? I don't think. I mean, you would have to Google it or something. I think there's a special one, but not from Ancestry. I think they have a dog kit. Where you can see where your dog is from? Mm -hmm. I think so. I know where Jet's from, though. He's from Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah. where he was born. Okay, so... So, yeah, that was my results. I'm overall going to say I was not expecting any of those. Really, I thought I was just Mexican, Puerto Rican, and Dominican. So, yeah, it kind of threw me for a little spin. Hmm. It's crazy. Okay. So... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wow. So, in, in, indigenous? What, how do you, is that how you in, say? Indi indigenous. Indigenous. Indigenous Americans, obviously like Mexico. So I'm from Southern Zacatecas, and they did get that right. Um, Zacatecas. Both of my parents are from Zacatecas. Zacatecas. And then mm. it says I'm from Spain also. I got Scotland. I don't know anyone in my family that's Scotland we or anything. We both got Scotland. Are we related? Don't say that. I got Northern Africa. <laughs> Whoa, okay. I got turkey and the, how do you say that word? Turkey in the Caucasus. 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 Caucasian. Oh, I was like, that sounds so weird. I got Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu, Bantu did I say Bantu? Yeah. Bantu people. That's what I got. Okay. This is getting weird, guys. I think that me and her are related in some, some way or form. No. Then I got Ireland. Mm. And then I got German, German, like Germanic Europe. Basically saying German. Germany, German, whatever. Um, and then I got European Jewish. I got the same thing. And then I got Cy Cyprus? 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 And no then, idea where that is. Mm -mm. And then I got Sen Senegal. Senegal. Which is in Africa. Yeah. And then. Bas Basque? Basque? Basque. Basque or something. No like clue that. where that is either. And then I got Indigenous Cuba. Huh. This is. Interesting, like I don't know, like I don't, I wouldn't like really think. So it's basically like people from my family that, like, if I guess if they were born in Mexico, like they moved to those places or something, or were they born there? I don't get it. In order to be that race, you have to be born, you have to be born there. So probably, like, let's say, this is just an example. Like, let's say I had an aunt that moved to, or like, um, my grandma or something, something that moved from Mexico to Northern Africa and had someone born there. And now that's part of my family. So that makes it seem, so that connects, no? I guess, yeah. I'm not sure how DNA really works, but... 
If it was my guess, it would be, let's say your grandma is from North Africa, and your grandpa is from Mexico, and they meet each other. Mm -hmm. That's the way that it would be combined into your family. Yeah. Not if they live in Mexico, move. I feel like it says Portuguese. I feel like what happened was, obviously you guys know, Portugal basically came to Puerto Rico to try and take over. Um, I feel like a Portuguese male or female met a Puerto Rican male or female and had a kid, and that kid came out Puerto Rican and Portuguese, and that's how the Portuguese ended up coming into my bloodline. So I'm Jewish and German. Yes, that's kind of a... <laughs> I was the one that really, like, really, he didn't want to go back because I know that he, he went back. He was, he had gone to the Holocaust Museum one time. In school, it was a field trip, mandatory field trip. We had to learn and about it. I've always wanted to go so bad. Like, it always, like, I don't know. Intrigued? Intrigued me to, like, like, and all that. Makes sense, because she's German. But I'm also Jewish. Which one are you more? Let's see. Or are they both the same? They're probably both the same. Yeah, they're both the same. 2% So So, maybe it's because you don't feel bad, and you don't feel good. You're in between about it. You're like... You wanted to go to see what they did because you're probably the German and you wanted to see like no. I missed this. No. And then the Jew in you was like, Oh my god, this is so fascinating. I'm so happy that I wasn't there. But still, like, I really wanted to go so bad. Like I was I kept talking about it, I kept asking him, I kept everything. I wanted to go so bad. Mm-hmm. But we did end up going and we made a whole video about it. Uh, yeah. If you guys want to check it out, it is on our channel. Just make sure that you, uh, you know, click our little visit channel button. And go check out that video. Mm. But yeah, overall, my results were very shocking. I was not expecting to see anything else besides what I was. Um, yeah, it's a... Uh, now I can uh, spend the rest of my life knowing what I truly am. Yeah. But if you guys have any comments, like if you guys have done ancestry before and you feel like it wasn't correct or you've taken multiple tests, and it comes out different each time, let us know in the comments mm -hmm. because I just want to make sure that like it's a hundred percent accurate. You feel yeah. me? Obviously, not everything. Not it's not. Obviously, nothing in life is 100% accurate, but I want it to be, like, you know, around the truth. I don't want to, like, take the test again, and then instead of, I don't know... Being Jewish or something? Yeah, it says, yeah, like, like, Australian. Yeah. Like, some completely off, if you feel me. But, yeah, that's overall how I feel about it. Any final words? Well, I just thought this was, like, interesting, like, you know, we actually got to, like, learn and see, like, where our family came from and what we are and all that, you know. It's, I liked it. It was, it was a good experience, you know, overall. Yeah, so, that's going to be the end of this video. Right. Yeah. Do we have anything coming up? Like any other videos? Mm, I'm sure we do. I mean, New Year's is around the corner. New Year's. New Year, new me. Huh? It's like that's what everyone always says. <laughs> that one video that we put off to the side for a little bit, but we're gonna do all 21. Why are you looking at the camera like that? Because it's a surprise for them. Well, it's more for us, but uh, we're going to take them along with us. Where? Yeah, okay. You okay. remember? You remember now? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs>
<laughs> basically the, the end of this video. Um, so we know that this video was kind of more like, uh, you know, on the boring side. But yeah. it's just that we wanted to, you know, see what we were and what was really fascinating to us. So overall, yeah. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and... Turn on your post notification bell so you can notify every time we post something on Bing! Y'all click the bell yet? I don't hear bell. We can't end the video until, you know, they subscribe and turn on the notification. Yeah, so we're gonna... So we'll be waiting. We're gonna give you five more seconds. You still haven't done it? Come on, man. Just We're waiting. <laughs> it's about time. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, guys. Bye.